What is up everybody? I am at Willow Springs International Raceway and today is a track day. I'm looking forward to it, it should be fun. Today, finally, I'm on some uh, Cup 2R tires, the Michelin Pilot Cup 2Rs, which is great. Looking forward to seeing how they do, but also I have an additional modification to the car that I've uh, just recently installed. And that is this cross brace from Speedway Composites. They were very gracious enough to be like, hey, test this thing out, see what it does. And uh, the whole point of throwing this cross brace on the car is it basically connects those corners as you can see by connecting the corners it gets in some of the way gets rid of this big open space that you have in the center of a car or yeah, sorry, in the engine bay here um, anytime you have big open spaces like that obviously it'll make the car not as rigid so it helps make bring the rigidity of the car up a certain amount so we'll find out once I get on the track and start testing it and running it and see how it does but I'm looking forward to doing this in the C8Z06 today so yeah cup 2R tires cross brace we'll see how this all does on my non Z07 package car um, haven't seen a lot of non-Z07s running at the track, at least here at Willow Springs. We'll see how this thing does today. Should be pretty fun. All right, so we're on the first few laps here at Willow Springs International Raceway. Going into turn one here, 140 plus miles per hour into this corner. You want to be smooth going in here. You want to get down to this apex, bring it all the way back out. I'm already feeling how this cross brace is helping me out, making the car feel more rigid. I like that a lot. This car came with good handling as I'm going through here, turn two, trying to get up to 90 miles per hour. These tires are still getting warmed up, so I'm not fully there yet going into turn three this car already rigid from the factory going into turn three right here get on the brakes get down to the apex power out but the car could always use a little bit more that's why i added this cross brace to the car it definitely feels solid i can feel the car very balanced coming down through here this place gets a little bit slippery right here but it's all good powering out with these cup 2r tires is definitely helping especially when i go over that hill now we're going to the fastest corner in the world willow springs turn eight. Oh, oh my gosh i didn't even carry enough speed through there <laughs> i'm still trying to get used to these tires these tires are pretty sticky but I am definitely feeling this cross brace. This cross brace is balancing the car even better. Now I'm gonna have to deal with traffic on the track here. We got a bunch of cars in this session. 20, 25 cars. Going here into turn one again. Gonna have to fight my way through some of this traffic here. But the nice thing is by having a more rigid car, it definitely points and shoots better wherever I want the car to turn it goes the only thing I'm lacking right now with this car is a proper alignment I do not have an alignment on this car it's still stock settings which is actually hurting me on the track I need to get it to negative three degrees camber getting around this corner here right now it's still stock alignment and obviously that does not help me especially with these tires but I'm at where I'm at. Once I get a better alignment, I'll really be able to do a proper lap, get some good times out here, and really showcase what this car can do with these tires and this cross brace. Going through here, heading back to the fastest corner. We're on the second session here. Getting some more laps in, trying to feel it out. A little bit more warm now. Temperatures rising on the track. Temperatures rising ambiently. Going into turn one here. My speed was a little bit too low going in there. Should have brought it up some more. Going into turn two. Want to be smooth. Keep your speed as high as humanly possible. It's if you're a little bit slower on entry, but you got to build it back up. Get up there. I'm still struggling right now because my front does not want to grip as well as I want it to. It's warm outside, it's getting greasy, the tires are getting hot. Going here to turn three, got to get down to the apex and power out of it. <laughs> this 
car feels so good in a lot of different ways, but it still needs more. I need the proper alignment on this car. Let's go. I love being able to hold more speed over that turn six right there, over the hill. Now we're going back into turn eight. Might have to slow it down just a little bit because I'm catching up to this car. Won't be able to hold the speed that I really want, but it's all good. Porsche right in front of me. Let's get by him. Come on, let me buy. Let's go. I gotta find a way. Let's split him. Three wide. Three wide. Three wide. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> there goes another one. All right, going back into turn one here as we're cornering. I like how the car is very responsive, especially with this cross brakes. You can feel the rear more intact. The rear is talking to each other, all corners of the rear of the car, especially with this being a mid-engine car, it's talking a lot better to each other. Everything is communicating. The car feels more solid in the rear. I just gotta get the fronts to be better. Splitting three wide again. Gotta get out of these guys. We're dealing with traffic here at Willow Springs International Raceway. Coming up on a Toyota Supra A90 Mark V. Gotta get by. There we go. All right, coming up on two more cars. It looks like a C8. This C8 definitely does not have the cross brace on it because if he did, maybe he would keep up. <laughs> Just kidding, who knows? <laughs> Let's go. Three wide again, three wide. Gotta get by him before we go into turn eight. Still got him on my left rear, so I can't carry the speed that I want through turn eight. This should be 140 miles per hour in the corner. I had to slow it down a lot. Trying to hold what I can. Let's see if we can get a little bit better lap here. Hopefully it's a little bit more clear unless we catch some more people. Picking up some good speed. 145, six, up to 146 miles per hour. Still not where we should be. Should be 150 going in there, but it's all good. Looks like we'll catch some more traffic on this lap. We'll make it work. If I had the front end of this car more dialed in, I would be able to hold 95, maybe even 100 miles per hour through turn two. I need to get the front end dialed in now that the rear is more dialed in. All right, Camaro's holding me back. Let me get by him, around him. The nice thing about having this cross brace in the rear, it does help the car rotate pretty decently and it helps keep it sturdy. You can feel it. You can feel the change. It's not a modification you add to the car and it doesn't do anything. It actually does something. I feel it. I feel it in the rear. Now I need something to help out my front end of the car to get it to be a little bit more dialed in up front. High speed through the corner. Turn eight, Willow Springs. Now going through turn nine, seeing if I can carry a little bit more speed than last time. Held a little bit better. Tires are <laughs> tires are pretty warm right now. They're not doing, they're not at their optimal, but it's all good. I'm still gonna have some fun with them. 147 going into turn one. Man, this car is so fun and it sounds absolutely incredible here at Willow Springs. C8 Z06, 14,000 miles on it. Make sure you do a proper break in on your Z06 if you get one, especially before tracking. Looks like we're gonna catch some more traffic. Let's see how this goes. It's pretty warm today. 80 something, almost 90 degrees outside. Making the most of this hot track day with a ton of traffic. The car still is good. I'm happy I had a little bit better tires today than my other ones or else it would have been uh, interesting. Passing by these two, let me get by. 
All right guys, so just did my first couple sessions and uh, the car felt really solid. Right now I have the Speedway Composites cross brace in there, also threw on some Cup 2Rs. Car felt good. I ran into a lot of traffic in those first couple sessions, so unfortunately I wasn't able to really get the lap times that I wanted, but at least feel-wise, the car responds very well. I can feel that the car is a little bit more rigid, a little bit more uh, stiff in the corners, and which is good. I mean, you know, less body roll, all that stuff. So very, very helpful by having the uh, Speedway Composite cross brace in there. You can definitely feel it. I think all cars need it. It's not super expensive at all. It's not like you're gonna go drop a brand on it or something like that. It's actually very reasonably priced for what it is, but also it gives you a little bit more stiffness, helps out your handling. I'm feeling it for sure in the corner, especially matched up with these Cup 2R tires, which are really, really sticky and really good tires. I just wish it was a little bit cooler outside. I wish there was not as much traffic that I'm having to deal with out there, but it's all good. Their traffic is passive, right? But hopefully in this next session, hopefully I can get up front a little bit more and uh, before we start and hopefully have a little more clear tracks truly set down a pretty decent lap. So we'll see what's going on. But right now, I think the fastest guy out here, he's running a Mustang 350 or GT 350. Yeah, GT 350, but it's like fully decked out. I mean, the thing has big arrow in the rear, big wing, arrow up front. Also, he has really good tires. He has the Hooser R7 tires, and then the car is fully stripped out. It makes about 550 horsepower to the wheels. Super fast car, really, really fast car. He's so far running the quickest. So I'm gonna go out there, run behind him, see if we can run together and help each other go faster by you know, being rabbits for each other. So it'd be pretty fun. And yeah, it's gonna be a good time, but um, I gotta make sure I get out there and not be late. <laughs> All right, we're back on track again. We're running against a Mustang 3 GT350. This thing is not stock at all. That car is fully decked out. It's stripped out, nothing in it, no interior, ultra lightweight, everything about it's light. Fully built motor in that car. All the arrow that you could ever want. Big rear wing, big front splitter. Great wheels and tires on that car too as well. He has some Hooser R7s, ultra sticky. So I got a lot of work cut out for me to try to keep up with that fully track ready monster. That thing might as well be a race car. And he's a pretty good driver at that too as well. Let's see what I can do to try to keep up with this guy. I also got a little prototype right behind me as well, chasing me down. We're three of the fastest people here today. In fact, we are the top three fastest here at this track days with 60 cars on track. Trying to keep up with them is tough. He does have the advantage with the arrow, the suspension, the tires, the weight, everything all together, but I'm doing my best to hold on with this car. I think the only thing I'm lacking is better arrow. I need more arrow up front and in the rear to keep this car even more planted on the ground. And then also I need a real track alignment. Now we're going into turn eight here at Willow Springs. Trying to hold some speed, but I'm not holding it enough. This is towards the end of the day. My tires just don't want to do it. I also want to drive my car home. No trailer. <laughs> turn nine, coming out of it. Decent speed. both heading into turn one again. Get on the downshift, get down to the apex, come out. Turn two here, you're gonna wanna hold down low, close to that white line as much as possible. Try to keep up as much speed as you can too as well. We're gonna be 90 plus on the exit here. Now going into turn three, you're gonna get on the brakes downshift, get your shifting done early, get down to the apex and power straight up the hill. Try not to be turning while you're doing it. Get up and then get that thing rotated back down. Bring it all the way out, use the whole track, get on that throttle, hold onto that throttle until you get to the candy on the right. You'll see it. Right here, you could get a little loose. The car's holding pretty decent though. Going over this hill, you gotta be careful as well. Now we're going back into turn eight. It's coming, fast quarter. You're gonna see 130, maybe even 140 miles per hour there. You're gonna wanna hold over 120 if possible. 
depending on what your car will give you. Now going into turn nine, it can be a little bit sketchy. You gotta aim right, get down to the apex, power out and use all the track. We're over a hundred miles per hour out of that corner. What a fun track, <laughs> Willow Springs. So I have something very funky going on with my tires right now, but I don't know what's going on here. So Michelin Cup 2R tire is doing this right here, and I don't know why. I'm only three sessions or so into these tires. This is very, very weird. Um, and when I say three sessions, like 12 laps max, it wasn't doing that many laps. That's what's going on. So they're like doing this weird spider thing, like someone had cut into them. I didn't run over anything. You know, even if, like, let's say I did run over something, or if I did, then what caused this one then? Because this one isn't connected to those. This is like its own little one so it's kind of weird i don't know what's going on but i don't know if i want to risk doing another session on this because it's like if this comes apart there or there it can literally start if it starts coming apart in the middle of turn eight when i'm going 140 into there that's not good <laughs> i might be done for today overall it's been a really fun day with this new cross brace here for the car definitely helped the car be more rigid more stable in the corner not that it wasn't before it was already really good but this just helps make it even better so you know big thanks to speedway composites if anybody wants to order something like this for the c8 or c8 z06 just make sure you hit me up. Send me an email to info at jessieiwujiperformance.com. That's J-E-S-S-E -S -S -E performance. jessieiwujiperformance.com. Head to the website or email me wherever you want and then I can get you this for your C8 or C8 Z06. That's great, right? The best of all the worlds. Anyways, I think my track day today is probably over. Had some fun out there running, but fortunately had a lot of traffic to deal with, so couldn't lay down the laps I really want to lay down. And then now my tire looks like it's coming apart. So that's, I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, still fun day. Had a good time. Thanks everybody for watching the video and um, stay tuned for more.